Okay, uh, which currency I start to trade? Uh, you better start trade with the pairs that are familiar with you. So if you are if you are uh, familiar with the USD and uh, let's say Euro, then you better start to look at the Euro USD. At least that's how I did it. First, when I studied the markets, I was only watching the G, uh, USD JPY because I was in the U, in, I was in the US and I came back to Japan. So I was pretty familiar with the economies on both US and Japan. And so for the first one year of my training, I only checked the USDJPY. And then I mastered the USDJPY in terms of what affects the market and what doesn't affect the market. And then I added Euro and then Pound I added and and I, I added more pairs, more, more currencies, and I have the watch list like this. But in the beginning, I, I started from a USDJPY only. Because the market behaviors are different among the pairs. Some pairs may respect the double top. Some pair may respect the triangle like the ascending P wave, descending P wave, you see more in, in some charts. So the tendencies are different. So I recommend you to stick to one pair first and then um, expand more. You can actually do this in backtesting in the Forex tester, which is my favorite tool. You can use a Forex tester and run the tester and see patterns. What kind of patterns are visible on specific pairs. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, it's pound AUD is overbought, so we have to stay away. Uh, pound CAD is still ranging in one hour. Let me move back to the daily time frame. Okay, pound CAD is about to break the daily <coughs> resistance. Maybe it breaks uh, next week. And pound Swiss franc is also about to break the new resistance. Okay, pound Swiss franc looks good. Maybe 4 hour is up. It broke the resistance in nicely bullish. And 1 hour is, oh, I'm sorry, 1 hour is too thin also. Looks like Kumos are too thin on pound pairs. So we have to stay away in this case too much buyers in the market. This is where the balance between buyers and sellers are in balance. So the sellers has to come for this market to move up continuously. That's what the Thinkmo means in this case. Um, let me see. So let me quickly check out the chart. Since this is Friday, I don't think I will trade in this case, in this situation, because most likely I may not be able to place, place a break even before I go to bed. So I think I will continue to stay away. And uh, next week there are big news. Since this is next week is the first week of the month, we have NFP in the US and other big events. And usually before the big events, market tends to quiet, tends to be quiet. So looks like the other pairs are retracing now. Yeah, I'm quickly screening charts. Forex pairs are ranging. Um, let me see. XA USD gold, today is bearish, but overall still flat ranging. So it may go up anytime soon or you may keep going down, we never, we never know which way it goes. So in this case, I simply stay away until it breaks the support or until I see the um, at least 4 hour downtrend. Yeah, it's about to break the 4 hour support of 1638.49. So if it breaks, I think I will look for the setting edge and target to 
the daily support, 1614.80. This may happen uh, next week. Uh, when the big news happens, the market may break the support. And uh, let me quickly also check the Bitcoin. So BTC USD looks to be bullish now. In terms of the daily, still it's ranging. Uh, it's in the Kumo. So the lower time frames usually tend to spike in the Kumo. Like when the market is in the Kumo, it's like airplanes are uh, being in the storm. So usually it spikes in the lower time frames. But uh, one hour is oh sorry, one hour is now in the Kumo. So sorry, I said it's bullish, but now still ranging. Because I thought the one hour is above the Kumo, but it's ranging in the one hour. So it may go down also, or it may go up. We, if you want to buy, at least you want to wait for the Kumo breakout or the resistance Kumo breakout 20676.6 and buy afterwards. Yeah, or wait for the resistance breakout and buy. I just keep up a row like this way because I think this is bullish. So, yeah. I think what's significant on this market was I broke the um, weekly trend line. I have been mentioning that the market has been registered by the weekly trend line many times. So I thought the market breaks the support and goes down. But uh, this week it broke the trend line and going up. So in the short term it's bullish. I think in short term bullish. But long term is still bearish. As you can see, the Kumo Senko Span A is still down. And Kijun Sen is still pointing down Chikou Span below candles. So this is still bearish in the long term, in, uh, in this weekly time frame. Yeah. And then uh, let me check some of the index. Uh, Nifty chart, sorry, uh, Nikkei is ranging now. Weekly chart, Nif uh, Nikkei weekly is ranging. And US indices are bullish this week and last week. US indices are very strong. So the market may go up continuously. I mean, um, yeah. Um, let's see. I think Dow Jones is the strongest. It's reaching up to the trend line. And S&P 500, 500 follows. It's retracing back to Kijun Sen now. Um, Euro stocks broke the Kijun Sen and it's going up to Senko Span B, as I mentioned uh, on Sunday's weekly forecast. So it's bullish. FTSE 100 is still ranging. It's not really trending yet. Yeah, CAC France has been bullish for the last four or five weeks. It's gone up to the, the trend line or the Senko Span A in this market. Uh, Okay, DAX index is also going up to the resistance and also the trend line. Yeah. So I think next week topic is whether the market breaks the trend line or not on the euro markets. And Nifty is bullish today. Okay, so I was mentioning about the Nifty on the daily time frame. If you can remember, I said we have to wait for the breakout of the Kumo single span A and target to 18098.70 and it looks like it's still ranging. Today is bullish, but uh, looks like still still ranging. A bit bit bullish in the in the short term. But uh, since Kumo flat, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen up within the Kumo Chikou Span touching, it's still ranging. So in this case, I would wait until Monday or Tuesday to make sure it's cool spawn above candles and buy. So, you know, sometimes it's cool spawn traces 
the, the candles. So, Chikou span is up now, but、um, next Monday, Tuesday, it may be bearish as Chikou span keeps tracing the candles. So, to be safer, you can wait until Chikou span above candles and by Monday, Tuesday. So, that's the nifty chart. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish, and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And, but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means、uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, You enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend, or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations, and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish, is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and Become a successful trend follower. So, until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.